Hi everyone, I have an exciting video for you today and I'm going to share what sold last night, uh, some great tips on shipping, that's kind of the primary focus on this, but what sold just kind of adds to the fun and um, how I did. So I'm the honeybee picker and this is my channel. I do reselling part time and I make YouTube content um, the other part of the time. So let's jump right in. So the four things that sold, um, I sold these Ace um, elastic bandages and it was a two pack and I'll tell you more about that. And I sold this pair of Cole Haan shoes and they look really great. Tell you more about those. And we sold this little Hot Wheels car from 1976 and it's a really cool car. I'll tell you more about it. You can actually look through the back of it and see the crew inside. And I sold this Uma Tello free home uh, phone service um, system kind of thing. but. So I'll tell you how, where I got that. And um, so on the shipping side of things, I made this little sample here and I, I haven't received, I did place an order for the USPS priority flat rate padded envelope. And that flat rate, you know, it's a priority shipping flat rate uh, padded envelope, but they're free. So on the USPS site, you can order things for free to ship in as long as it um, matches with the posted selection that's on the outside of the envelope so or the, the box or the package. And so the USPS priority mail has various rates and then the flat rate containers or packages um, are just a set rate and they're not by weight. So the padded flat rate envelope is the size of this aqua envelope and I pay for this right we buy these these aren't free but if it's going to be a pound or more and you want the the uh, flat rate so that flat rate padded envelope uh, right now with the holiday eBay, eBay um, USPS rates, it's $8.49 um, cost to us. And um, so that, that would be the shipping on that. But th this isn't padded, but it would be this size, like a 9 by 12. And then this bag, again, is a bag that you would have to purchase. Um, and, you know, there are so many cents per bag. And it's, I use this for first class because even if it would fit in this, you can't do first class in a priority envelope. But so this is nine and three quarters by 13 and a quarter. And I went ahead and folded the flap down so it wouldn't um, kind of confuse the size of it. And um, so this is great for like shirts or swimsuits, either one of these. Uh, like a men's short sleeve dress shirt fits really nice in here and I fit all kinds of stuff um, children's like really small like say size 3 ski pants that goes well in here if it's light enough but if not then you start getting into the flat rates um, so this is a kind of cardboard stock the legal flat rate envelope and it's nine and a quarter by 15 and right now the holiday rate is 820 so before the holiday rate i think it was like 747 and 825 uh, to the customer and so there's an eight percent discount so you could back into that to see what it costs for the for the customer um, but this i put all kinds of stuff in here jeans uh, when you fold jeans, you know, the like the seat of it ends up being bulkier on that part. So if you'll fold it down, um, it'll fit. And I, some of the plus size jeans I've been able to fit in here. But, um, but anyway, so I, I do all kinds of stuff in, in this. 
I do put an extra piece of tape just a couple inches over each corner, um, a piece across the seal, and I do a piece about three inches across the bottom because if you ever receive stuff in these, sometimes they split. But if you just put a little tape in the corners, it'll reinforce it and it'll be really strong um, and you've not altered it. So any flat rate packages, you can't you can puff them out as fat as they'll go but you can't um, like extend or not be able to close it and close it with something else if it's a flat rate um, so that's that one and then you can kind of see how it's so similar to this pink bag and if it's going to be a pound or more or you want insurance that's a big reason why some items I ship as priority, even if they're lightweight. So for example, this little Hot Wheel car, this could go first class, it's very light, but I'm going to ship it differently and I'll show you that in a minute. I'm gonna ship it as USPS and that's what the customer has paid for. Um, and I put it in the description that it would be going um, the priority mail because it needs to be insured. Um, because it is more than $25 and things like this. Sometimes there could be maybe one that you're shipping out is nicer than the one they have and they'll try to return. I've not experienced that, but I have seen so, you know, other resellers who have given comment about people buying things and then sending back their damaged item. Um, so we'll go more about that. Then, if you need a larger bag, which I do have really large bags, um, some of them say eBay, some of them don't, but this one kind of, we don't hear much about this one. And this is the priority, um, the TVEC envelope. And so it's, it's uh, kind of like fiber reinforced. It's definitely waterproof. Um, and you can puff this sucker out. So it's gonna be super light. And you didn't have to buy it so if you bought an envelope then that adds to your cost and it's um, 11 and 5 8 by 15 and so if you're wanting to send something priority because you need the insurance on it or because it's over the pound and doesn't fit in this and you want it in a bag then you know this is another option because it's free so I ordered some extra ones. I will tell you that, you know, I've been reselling for a year now and um, I've ordered the USPS uh, shipping supplies at different times throughout the year. And now that we're in October, if you need to stock up or even if you don't have a lot of space, stick it in your trunk. If you don't have any room, um, put it somewhere. Um, you could put it, you know, under a bed or under your work table. Um, I have shelving above me all the way around or on two walls in this little 10 by 10 room. So all my shipping supplies go up there. And, um, and I have extra shipping materials that I just double bag and put out in, in the shed so I can bring it in as I need. And so that's a little bit about the envelopes and um, what you can do with them then so yeah and I think I told you the padded flat rates 849 the holiday rate that was my little note on that till they come in I ordered me some so what I sold what I paid for where I got it um, how much I'm making off of it and which shipping option did I choose to ship these out so if you like the video now or later, um, hit the thumbs up and let me know that you um, find value in the content of this video and hit the subscribe button and uh, so you'll know next time. So I'm gonna tell you about the items that I sold. And so this one was, I got these at a yard sale, a dollar a piece. I bought five. I listed these as a two pack for $22.99. And the other three are listed for like 33 something. Um, I did have free shipping offered on this. 
And so with the free shipping, um, I am making $13.42. So I'm going to recycle an Amazon envelope. And um, yeah, I mean, I have other envelopes that are cute and say eBay or whatever, but I'm going to use the free stuff first. So that'll go in here. And my shipping cost was $4.42 for a nine ounce package. So that's that one. And then these Cole Haan shoes, they're so nice. They're like nearly new. I mean, they're just super nice. Um, I like the style of the shoe. I just, I don't really wear collar shoes like orange or bright colors shoes or whatever, but um, I really like their driving shoe and they're so, they're super nice and they're cute. So I sold these for $25 plus shipping and um, the customer paid $9. So I listed them with the um, priority uh, flat rate envelope. And so I passed on the savings to the customer by listing this as their shipping choice. And then, um, so my cost was $8.20 because of the holiday rate and they paid $9 um, instead of the $8.25. So I could tell that that holiday rate increase is, you know, being passed on to them as well. But to make sure that they get there safely, I've stuffed them so they don't get crushed too much. And I'm going to use just a little piece of bubble so that they don't rub the package and that they stay stacked um, the way that I want. And I'll do them nice and neat where nothing's sticking out. And this will fit in here. Now, if these were um, a shoe with a heel or a tennis shoe that's, you know, more premium, um, but sandals and flats, um, I typically try to fit them in a priority envelope. Um, sometimes I've listed the priority envelope for the customer and sometimes I've just put the one to two pound rate and they've paid priority shipping and I'll use this to save a little bit um, but it all kind of averages out and um, but the the shoe box um, I stock up on those too so if you sell shoes or things that would fit in the shoe box um, I, I would suggest get stocked up on them if you haven't already because it can take a little while to get those. Um, any of these shipping materials that you get for free for USPS Priority Mail, um, it can take a little while. In the summertime, maybe a week to two weeks for them to come in. And even if you ordered, say, six different ones, they typically don't come all on the same day. They'll kind of come staggered. And then uh, now that we're getting closer to the holidays, um, it will take longer and it they will run out so get stocked up on your priority package then the next item um, was this home phone service so I, and it was a little bit dusty I cleaned it up it's brand new sealed uh, when I did the pictures I did nice close-ups to show all of the seals that it's never been opened and this sold for $44.10. It was on a sale for 10% off. And of course I got it for free. And I made $39.73 on this free item. Um, yeah, I thought, who needs a home phone system? But in one of my other videos, uh, you know, I sold uh, some cordless home phones. And it was a set of two. They had been previously used, I guess. The box was open, but everything was there. And they sold for like $25 plus shipping. So some people like to have just the basics just in case. Or um, maybe they don't use a lot of cell phone and they, they're fine with the home phone. So the shipping on this. Now this weighs, um, let's see, this weighs 
one pound and 14 ounces. So by the time we add a box, this would go over two pounds. And I did list it at the three pound rate, but I found that I was able to fit it in this regional box A. And the regional boxes, you have regional A, and they come in two shapes, and they're both on the smaller end. And then regional B, um, they come in two different boxes, and they're a little bit bigger, but not by much. So the A's are at a two pound rate. So however much you can fit in an A box um, is a two pound rate. And then the B box, however much you can fit, fit in that, it's a four pound rate. And so now you can't chop these up and Frankenstein them into a size you need, not the A or the B or any flat rate boxes. But this is just a little bit wider than the box but the box is long enough that I was able to close one end <clears throat> and it goes in and I still have a little space to spare and the natural creases that they had in this and it's going to close like that and since it closes and I did not alter the box, it ships. So I will pay the two pound rate and my customer for this item, the phone, they paid $14.25 in shipping and my cost for the A rate box is $11.30. So there's plenty of room there to, um, you know, the 15 or whatever percent rate that you're at. Um, you know, eBay charges their fees on the shipping and on the sales tax on all of it. Um, so that helps to offset that because they also had $2.65 in sales tax and then I pay a fee on that too. So once in a while you get a little bit upside on the shipping and it helps to offset some of your fees. Um, so for the home phone, um, it sold for a total of $61 and I made $39.73 on, it's not a phone, it's a phone service through like an ethernet kind of thing. So that's that one. And the last one um, is this little Hot Wheels car. And um, this little car, I went ahead and put it in a nice little bag because I'm sure they're collecting it, right? Um, they paid $54, $54 for this Hot Wheel, and it's a 1976 Hot Wheels racing team, and it has um, TSP, Champion, Goodyear, Mattel, um, as some of the brands on there. And, you know, I listed it that the wheels are all great. All the windshields and everything are nice. And um, the paint has some chipping to it. But these are what's called the Hot Wheels scene cars. And so the scene or scenery that you see, there's kind of a little magnifying type glass in the back. And you can see through the truck. And there's an image inside of the whole crew, uh, the racing team inside. So it's a little bit unusual. There are different scene machines or scene Hot Wheels. And this one we found at an estate sale. I had kind of rummaged through the banged up bucket worth of, of um, cars and I was just flipping for years and I didn't see anything, but I didn't want to get stuck looking at just, you know, several hundred cars. And I went on room to room and then my husband came in and he's such a charmer. But he looked through this little box and quickly he found um, this one. And he was like, check this out. I, th I think it says, you know, 1976 on the bottom. I was like, that's a great find. I have no idea, but because it says Hot Wheels on the side, racing team, I bet this is good. So we didn't even look it up. Paid a dollar at an estate sale. And um, so there you go a dollar into $54 and that was with a 10% discount. So um, I put 
quite a few things on sale in my store. I do use store categories and that helps me to manage um, my sales offerings. I can pick a particular category, put the whole category, my chosen category, not eBay's category, um, put the whole category on sale or choose that category and select specific items. So like I can go to my uh, shoes or my women's shoes or men's shoes and then I can select all the summer shoes and put those in the sales batch, give it a name, give it a name the customer sees and select my discount percentage. Um, you can do different, different other types of sales but I do a discount percentage on the item and um, an expiration date for the offer. So I've tried different things. I've tried like 30 day sales, I've tried, you know, two week sales, I've tried um, two to three or four day type sales. And um, so this time I did about a 10 day sale so that it would end October 8th. And um, so that really did increase my watchers. I went from say maybe you know, 10 items being watched to 52 items being watched over the course of a week. And um, this was a watched item that sold. And I think that's it out of these four. So just that one. But this I'm going to put in a little box with my thank you card. And I always write a little personal note on the back of the thank you card. And I'm gonna ship it in this flat rate because I did list it as priority, so it would be insured. Um, so I won't have any issues with it and the customer uh, won't have any issues with it. So there you go. So four items, I spent $5 and they sold for $188 and I made $119 on these four items that sold overnight. So I appreciate you stopping by my channel and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.